Madame Monsoon Toulemont, Bienvenue à Paris. Welcome to Paris. This is the little courtyard in our little hotel that we have. We're staying at Hotel de la Pie. And um, it's kind of cute here. We got some, some chairs. It's a very, very kind of boutique, kind of small hotel. But uh, let me show you the room. Welcome. Oh, hey. <laughs> it's a little bed. Just to kind of small, cute little room. But just enough for two. Cute little bathroom. It's kind of got everything you need. Look at how small the sink is. Put your hand sink. It's pretty, pretty cute. It's like a tiny house. <laughs> then we got just a little window coming down. It essentially took us all day to get here. Our flight was supposed to leave Barcelona at 10 and it got delayed to 11. And now we just got to our room in Paris and it's almost three o'clock now. So we are super hungry, super tired Ooh. and yep, and super thirsty. So we're gonna go out and explore Paris for the first time. Give me some snails and hot chocolate. <laughs> First time seeing the Eiffel Tower. Sophie's seen it, but I haven't seen it before. It's, it's pretty cool. It's, uh, it's definitely, a, I think, a little bit smaller than I had imagined, but... Pretty small, eh? <laughs> but it, uh, it's nice. It's cool. It's iconic. You can cross it off your bucket list now. Eiffel Tower, fun fact. So the Eiffel Tower actually used to be yellow until 1968, whenever they started painting it, the Eiffel Tower brown. Um, and it, every seven years they repaint it and it takes about 60 tons of paint. That's a lot of paint. So we're at Cafe in the Floor. Oh, she's already right, diving right in. I'm diving right in. Oh, yeah. All right. I don't, I don't need the fancy tools. Oh, yeah. Look at that nice snail. Go for it. Oh, drinking the juice and everything. Look at that. Diving right in. Um, we really put it away. And those snails were delicious. Very, very happy. I need like 14 more orders. Yeah. We need like a whole buffet of it. <laughs> Just wait until we go to Morocco. Kind of whole bowl of bush. Delicious. Got cafe correct. We got some straight up hot chocolate. She's in heaven. No, no, no. Now I'm in heaven. She's literally just eating the cream. Thank you. 
Ja. Our hotel has this really cute little breakfast area in the basement. So cute. This is great that they have a breakfast buffet because Paris now, is super expensive. Now we'll be full all day long on the breakfast buffet. Look at the cute little fruit cup. Mm. Currently waiting outside the catacombs of mine. It's rainy. It's a rainy day. Rain. Not only that, but it's very cold out. Cold, wet, and rainy. Luckily, we bought these jackets. We brought them. Not bought them. Brought them. We're heading down to the catacombs. Listening to audio books. Wait, audios. Audio guys. Audio guys. <laughs> It's definitely starting to get a little bit creepy in here. We're already 160 feet underground. We've gone down like 137 steps or something like that. It's getting real creepy. I don't know if you're familiar with the catacombs, but this is where they used to put dead bodies during the late 18th century. We're about to see some dead bodies. <laughs> Around, I don't say around water and 5,000 feet under the oh shoot, 5,000 feet underground. Mm -hmm. No caves. 5,000, we're only like less than 200. It's the same thing. <laughs> A cave in is my fear. The cool thing is, it stays pretty cold down here. A nice 14 degrees Celsius all year round. This is called the Empire of Death. Bones smell like bones. Very dusty. How's it feel being down here with all these bones? It feels revolutionary. I don't know. I don't really know. I know. Just it feels surreal. Like it doesn't feel real. That they feel like they're fake, but you know they're not. So it's it's very weird, but cool at the same time. Mm -hmm. Kind of creepy, but kind of cool, honestly. Being next to all these bones, being down here, it's kind of spooky. Feels like a haunted house. <laughs> so he's ready to go back up. Ready to go back up. I'm gonna be above ground. I'm not a mole. I couldn't be the under my hair. That's enough skulls and bones for today. Now, we took a little trip out to Versailles. You see behind me is the Palace of Versailles, built by King Louis XIV during the 1600s. Look at all that gold.
We're now on our way up to King Louis XIV's rooms, his chambers. His sleeping chambers. Look how grand it is. Look at the view that he got from his room though. Not yet, not yet, his room's over there. Oh. This is one of the waiting rooms of King Louis. And whenever I see rooms like these, I always think about how much work it must have taken to create something like this. Because I think even now it would take forever to build. But I mean, just all the freaking crown molding across the room and then the painting on the ceiling, just insane. It's awesome looking. But you, Sophie, Yay. but this might be my favorite room. Yeah. I mean, the number of chandeliers. The lights, the chandeliers, the colors, everything is just bouncing off each other. The lights are sparkly. I like it, I like it, I like it. All right, Stephen, we need a few chandeliers in our house. Sounds and by good. a few, I mean 45. Sounds good. Got it. King Louis' crib is pretty cool, but his garden, I think that's my favorite part of it. It's just such a nice view. And look at the background with, with different colored leaves and everything. Amazing. It's definitely much colder here in France than it was in Spain. Spain was very moderate temperature, which in the morning was nice during the day. Here it's just really cold. Cold, foggy, rainy. I like it though. It's a nice change. Yeah. Palace Riverside is pretty cool. Definitely one of the more popular attractions to do while you're in the Paris area. It is about a 40 minute drive out from downtown Paris, but I think it's worth it. Only 20 bucks a ticket. So if you're looking for something to do on Paris, this is a pretty cool spot. But now it's about four o'clock and we're ready to go find some dinner. I don't know why, but we always end up eating some sort of Asian food, no matter where we go. Because good. We got a Vegas roll and beef udon. We got ramen coming too. Ramen came out. Beef ramen. It's good. Well guys, it's our last hour in Paris, last morning as well. Another wet, cold, and rainy day. The two out of the two and a half days that we were here, not the best weather, I would say, but we made the most out of it. Uh, now we're gonna be flying out to Rome for the next couple days. So I've, I've enjoyed Paris. I think it's a cool place to be, and you always see it in movies and everything. It's kind of just cool being in Paris. I think my favorite part of the entire trip was definitely the catacombs. I really thought it was spooky and it was cool. I've never been that far underground in a tunnel or cave type of situation. So definitely an experience. I would definitely recommend that over like probably almost anything in my opinion. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos to come. See you guys in Rome. How's it feel? Seeing it for kinda the first weird. time? Kind of weird. You're so close to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of paint. Maybe. Maybe. Chateau. Chateau de Forza. Okay, that was disrespectful. <laughs> King Louis' crib is pretty cool, but his garden, I think that's my favorite part of it. Wait, King Louis' crib? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you've enjoyed the, the, if, you've, if you've enjoyed this, if you've enjoyed this video,